to need a director of football. If there was a club that needed it, it was United. Like, who do you think United is going to sign up this summer? A Oof. little bit of improv, but... Dude, man, every time, every time with this. I don't know. I just don't... My mind, you know, I'm, I'm one of those guys that falls for the uh, what is your battery percentage and what is your birth month. And, and you know, that is what a transfer rumor... Uh, okay, happened. okay. Let me, let me re, re, rephrase it. Yes. Who would you rather have for United? Harry okay. Kane or Sancho? Who is more of a priority for you? Well, my bias is obviously towards younger players. Um, but both of them, unfortunately, have had pretty big spells with injury as of late. I, I just, I, you can't get... <sighs> Jaden Sancho has shown he can do really well in different environments. Harry Kane has been in one environment. Um, I'm going to say Jaden Sancho, and I'll probably get rightfully uh, killed for it in the comments section. <laughs> Jaden Sancho, I'm saying it. Well, yeah, you could, you could pick... Kane because they already have Ahmad Diallo, but I think Sancho does fit perfectly at Man United. But you're you you know more about that Man United youth. They're they're really kicking in. Shola, Ahmad yep. Diallo, James yep. Garner. Yep. You There's... can go through. No, I mean you 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 name name the three that I really like. Garner's been pretty good for uh he's at Nottingham Forest. Uh Shola Shortire has been a breath of fresh air in the U twenty threes. Kids up uh, as 16 and 17 year old. I know he's just turned 17 and he's putting, putting goals. Him and Diallo have obviously uh, uh, created a, a little bit of a, um, uh, a brother, a brotherhood there on top of uh, Hannibal Mesri. Oh, Ooh. the technique. Yeah. It's, oh. it's beautiful. I mean, just to watch him play is absolutely beautiful. Um, <laughs> Risky I, move from Monaco yeah. to, to United. It'll be interesting if they're even able to integrate these guys. I, I hope they do. I just, I don't know. I, I, I wanted to talk to you about something that I, I had here on my notes. Yeah. And uh, what do you think is going to happen at Arsenal? Arteta in or Arteta out? <sighs> Man, I you're you. really trying to get us uh, hurt in these comments, section, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, and, and just have this, this is what you call what do they call it in uh, soccer they, this is what you call a medicine ball uh, or a look, hospital ball hospital look, ball that's what it is Bretton, this is my therapy once a week speaking yeah. to you about football yeah, yeah. and just going uh, out I, I'd have to say Arteta out um, Arteta out yes troops do you hear that <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to say Arteta out I don't know I mean I mean are you at the point now where you just press the reset button yeah so it's Kroenke's out too. Well, you're not going to get Kroenke out. That's one thing. As you, as an American, Kroenke won't leave. No. Okay. No. I mean, unless unless uh, I forget the Spotify founder's name, but unless he comes in with you know uh, uh, two times two x bid here, it, it's it's not happening. I mean, it, this is this is one thing that if you read things about these billionaires, if you read uh, books about these guys, this is just an investment to them, I right? See. And someone's got to come in with the money. It really, it's not about whose feelings are hurt. It's not about, you know, whatever. It's its literally about how you make more money. And yeah. they're competing too, but they're competing uh, in the, the space of how much more can I make? Um, it, it has nothing to do with should I play ESR over, um, you know, Odegaard. It has nothing to do with that. I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. But wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. The truth is against Villarreal, Thomas yeah. Partey, didn't have someone next to him. And Odegaard and Smith Rowe playing at the same time, that's Arteta's call. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's it's you can't play two tens. You can't against Villarreal in the semi final of the Europa League. Okay, it's not the Champions League, but come on. Arteta, yeah. I think the inexperience clearly shows in these moments. Well, yeah, Look, it I'm, seems I'm, like I'm, Frank Lampard all over again with this. Oh, it, but it, Lampard's it, still I still think Lampard in the long run is going to look better in the picture yeah. than Arteta. Like, he still got... He, Arteta did get a trophy with mm -hmm. Obama. Obama and getting the contract extension. What happened since then? What has Obama Young done since then? Since the contract extension? I just see Saka. Saka is the 
is the player who deserves recognition at Arsenal. Jump Saka on his is, back. Yeah. Oh, he does everything. He plays in every position. Left yeah. back, winger. He can even play forward. He can go he can go goalkeeper. Look, this is how much I trust Saka right now. <laughs> the situation at Arsenal is it's it's bothering. It's and Tierney. Tierney. Play the kid. He's a leader. Yes. He's a voice. He won't yes. he'll hate being passed. Yeah, uh, he'll he'll hate to lose one on one with a winger. I can yeah. guarantee you he's gonna be vocal about it. Arsenal needs those people on the pitch. Yeah. It's well, well I'm gonna put you on the spot then and then we probably should wrap it up. But uh who what position is lacking most at Arsenal right now? Uh, I feel like uh, it was really bad for Arsenal, Saliba not stepping up. Uh, that center back position was was needed, yeah. and I feel like at the start of the season, Arsenal should have got Usemaor because you're gonna get Odegaard halfway halfway gone to the season, and it's an Odegaard that basically is not gonna be there in the long run. And I think Aor, if Aor or Buendia had mm -hmm. gone to Arsenal at the start of the season. We may be talking about a team that's fighting for the Champions League. I'm not joking here. This It puts me so sad to see a team that was one step away. It's just like United last season. They were one step away. And this right. season too. It's Arsenal, they needed that, that player at Cam earlier. They needed the Buen Dias in Aor. And they needed someone vocal at the back. Uh, I don't think David Luiz is the cut. And I feel like Leicester are looking like a genius club getting Wesley Fofana and Arsenal getting Saliba. And Saliba was better than Fofana and Saint-Étienne. Okay? Yeah. 